guys welcome back to beauty by brandy today i wanted to do a chit chat get ready with me type of video i uh, saw a lot of these on youtube and i just thought um why not <laughs> just film one of these um so this is like basically where i sit when i get ready um when i'm putting my face on and um, I sometimes I go in my bathroom and do it like if it's too early in the morning and I can't see in here and I'll just like go in there and put my face on but yeah um, <laughs> for the most part I do sit here at my little vanity and I do my makeup I do tend to look in this little mirror thing most of the time because it's just a little bit closer for me to see what I'm doing but um yeah I don't really do anything different than what I've showed you guys before but I just thought this would be like a fun little just like talking video with you guys while I'm getting ready so that's what I'm gonna be doing um currently I have this foundation that I'm not too crazy about like I mean I like it I've always liked this this is like the covergirl clean sensitive skin what <laughs> sensitive skin 260 classic tan color and I did have to switch from my light foundation to a dark one now since it's summer and I'm tanner and um but I really, really liked my CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1. Um, this is my favorite, and I need to get a new one that's, like, tan, so I don't have to keep using this. The only thing I don't like about this is, like, when it's hot outside, I felt like my face was really sticky. Like, I could just feel that I was wearing makeup where whenever I wore this, you couldn't really feel the foundation itself. So, I'm going to be using this today guys have been having a great week uh, mine was pretty hectic just work and everything and I'm so happy that today's Friday I cleaned my house and um, I haven't worn makeup since last weekend I normally don't end up even wearing makeup during the week anymore which has helped my skin tremendously and I just started applying this and forgot to moisturize but yeah I would recommend moisturizing um, my face actually isn't really dry today. I don't really know why, but it's looking oilier than what it normally is. But I normally apply moisturizer, but I don't know. I just don't even think my skin needs it today. But I know that's like a thing you should do, but I don't always do it. Because um, my skin gets oily, especially on my forehead. I've been breaking out like really bad in the center. And like, I just don't understand my skin it's totally not the same as when I was younger like when I was in high school I had like no acne and I know that's like when a lot of people get acne but like for me I didn't really have acne like I would get it like maybe just big pimples on my head or like on my chin or something but I never broke out like a lot of teenagers did um, but like now it's the complete opposite like now I break out on my forehead on my chin especially if I start picking at my face then that's when it gets really bad but I kind of can't help it guys I'm like addicted to squeezing pimples that's really gross but like if I see a pimple like I have to pop it because it'll drive me crazy if I don't this stuff I think might be just a little too orange for my face I'm not sure because it looks like it is but I don't really know so I'm not getting a lot out so if you guys know any like really good um, face wash like what I'm looking for and getting is like a toner and a face wash and a moisturizer like a some kind of step thing like that you can buy at like Walmart or something so if you guys know of any good ones that you've tried leave them down in a comment below to let me know what's good for like I don't even know what my skin type is like I think mine's combination skin because I get dry but then again I get oily so I don't I'm guessing that's my skin type I don't know though for the rest of my body my skin is really dry so but my face isn't like the rest of my body. So I don't know if I'd be considered dry or, like I said, oily and dry combination. So um, if you guys know anything about that, let me know as well. Because I need advice with, like, acne that clearing up. Like, 
I don't know. The face wash that I'm using is simple right now, and it works pretty good, but it's just not like, it's just not clearing my forehead up like I want it to, so. God, it takes forever to get this crap out. I'm ready to switch to a new one because I don't like this. I think I'm about done anyways with this. I just, I don't like this foundation right now. I think for the winter time it'd be okay, but it just feels so heavy for some reason. Where my other foundation doesn't feel like this. And I would go get a new foundation, but um, I'm a little broke currently, but I need new makeup. So I'm going to have to, like this week coming, I'm going to have to go and get some new makeup. Because I swear guys, I have not bought makeup for so long. I feel like I've been using up what I have and just trying to save money, but like... I'm due for a new foundation or new new powder. But yeah, this stuff here is heavy. Like, I don't like it when it's hot out, which it's going to be hot today, so. Got to sweat it off. I also recommend putting primer on first, which I didn't do. Let's see if I got... Oh, no. Ugh, I probably put way too much over there. Oh well. I don't know. So the foundation's on, but I didn't like try to apply it really heavily, but it's heavy enough. I can feel it. So, um, yeah, if you guys have this, if you guys have noticed that it's like feels kind of heavy, I don't know. I mean, I like it, but like I used to like it because it helped my, didn't break me out or nothing, but it just feels like it's a heavy foundation that I, I don't know. So now I'm going to apply some powder and this one's too light but I think it'll even out the collar because I'm not too sure if the collar is still too tan for me so far or but I need to get a new powder as well oops actually I do concealer before powder getting ahead of myself this is kind of a weird video I feel like I'm just talking dumb stuff to you guys um, can't believe that I have 600 and like 14 subscribers right now on my main channel like that's insane um i really really just wanted to say that i appreciate you guys so much you guys don't even know that i'm just like so thankful to just to have made it that far because i really honestly didn't think that i was ever going to get that far and to be able to see as of lately that i've just been gaining and gaining it's like amazing feeling that you guys must like my videos or just want to support me um even if some of you don't watch my videos all the time like just thanks for subscribing because i mean it just means a lot to have people that support what you're doing you know it's a great feeling so um it's amazing just 600 people to me is like incredible i could imagine if i had like i know like a lot of people you know like having like a million or something like that's insane i cannot imagine <laughs> And then another thing that is really, really hard for me to imagine is going out in public and people, like, um, noticing you. And that would be so weird because you'd kind of feel like a celebrity, but at the same time, you'd probably be like, um, like, you know, you're still you, but you would feel, you know, to have fans. I think that's incredible because, I mean, it's not like we're movie stars. We're just people that like making random videos on YouTube and we get, you know, people just become a fan and I think it's amazing. So I'm all for the YouTube career. I hope that I'm able to go far with it. Like I said, if you guys have video ideas, leave them down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to like do them with you. So the video is getting kind of long and um, I'm just going to like fast forward to where I'm a little bit more done. It takes me forever to do my makeup anyway, so um, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so I fast forwarded a little bit. I got my face completely done, my blush, um, my uh, bronzer, my eyebrows are done. I just primed my eyelids. Um, getting ready to do my Lorac palette. And I'm trying to decide what freaking color I should do. Um, I think I'm going to try, if you guys have this palette, I think I'm going to try, like, I just like trying different things. I think today I'm just going to go with the seashell 
color for all over my lid. I don't think I've ever used this one yet, so. Oh yeah, it's real bright. That's what I like, a little brightness to brighten your eyes up. <laughs> Especially if you guys are suffering from allergies like me, you almost need like brightening makeup because your eyes just look so dark and scary. You look like a freaking, I don't even know. Look like the walking dead or something. I don't know. I just, every morning when I wake up, my eyes are so swollen, like from the allergies outside. It's really random to talk about, but I don't know what it is. Like I can walk outside and just start sneezing and my nose has been bothering me so bad I have to use nasal spray every night before I go to sleep or I can't breathe it's awful so um yeah this is the all color lid color I figured I could zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I was actually doing but yeah it's all over color it's really bright and white and I like it because uh that's what I need on my eyes a little in my crease there my inner corners I always like brighten those up um for the crease color today I don't know what I'm gonna do the thing that I've been doing that helps me with my overall crease and blend out I feel like I struggle with like blending out the crease color to like go good with my eye shape because I don't really know what kind of eye shape I have either like and I don't really I'm not like good at mastering how to get the crease to look good so what I've been doing is like, that's been helping me better do my makeup is like, I'll take my line stiletto stuff here to do the eyeliner up top. And I'll do that first before I do the crease and it really helps. I'm almost out of this stuff. I need to get more. Also, I'm like the only one that can't get my wings like right every single time I do my makeup. Like I, they never look the same. And they never match. Screw that one up. It's really long. Didn't really mean to make it that long, but it's like super long. I also really want to try Benefit um, products. Like I heard their mascara is good and their Eyeliner's good, but I've never tried any Benefit products, so if any of you guys have ever tried Benefit, is it good? Do you like it? Um, what would you recommend? Like, the thing coming up that I'm really excited about is that I booked us a beach vacation um, next month. I'm going on vacation July the 1st, and I'm really, really pumped about that. Um, can't freaking wait to just take a vacation. You know, just, just not have to go to work for one week is going to be crazy but it's gonna be so nice to just get a relaxation break even though sometimes I feel like when you go on vacation uh, my dad always said like don't know why it's called vacation I don't get to relax because you're you know constantly doing like if you go somewhere on vacation you're constantly doing stuff got to figure out things to do you're running around like crazy so you're driving and so he's like, he makes a good point because I don't know why they call it a vacation whenever you're going to do stuff because you don't get to relax, you're just busy. But as long as you're having fun, I think that's all that matters. But like, yeah, I don't think me and my husband are gonna get to relax a whole bunch. Like, I think we're, we're gonna try. I know the first few days, um, we're probably gonna go to the camp for 4th of July weekend and then um, I think what we're gonna do on that Sunday is we're gonna go to, back to Harper's Ferry and take his son there for his birthday and his daughter and her friends gonna come with us and then Monday I'm gonna get the house put back in order and pack my suitcase and do laundry and that kind of stuff before we leave and we're leaving on Tuesday which is the 5th of July and we're going to Ocean City Maryland and I'm so very excited I can't wait 
And then we're gonna come back and I don't know what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna relax when we come back the last few days that we have and just probably do nothing, um, hopefully, because I think we both just wanna just chill and enjoy ourselves, which I'm sure we will. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna move on to contouring the crease now. I think the key for me is like getting everything blended out to where it looks nice. I feel like I never get it blended enough or something, but I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I like it actually. So this ended up being the final look. Just like a real smoky look today and um, I overall really like it. I think it turned out pretty good so um yeah i hope you guys have a great weekend and thanks so much for watching this uh chit chat get ready with me video if you guys like these types of videos then uh, be sure to give this one a thumbs up for me and subscribe to my channel and i make new videos mostly every week on this channel i'm hopefully gonna be able to start getting back into doing like beauty videos every week but like like i said sometimes it gets really hectic and like i'm trying to focus more on the other channel right now but it's you know i like doing these types of videos as well part of my life so I like doing these so hopefully you guys do too. If you guys have any requests leave them down below for me. And yeah thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!